So you guys have some exclusive trailers to the U.S. market that nobody else is going to have. Yeah, that's, that's what right. I understand. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, what we have here today is the AOR Sierra and the Sierra ZR. We're importing these from Australia, 100% built in Australia. Cool. Uh, the two that we have are actually the first two ever to be in the U.S., but we got our next container in already, so we're ready to go start cool. selling them. Right so. on. And so, which is, so it's this one and this one. So yep. this is obviously the, uh, the base model. And then, or, so two different models. So this one has a sleep-in cabin. So um, you have a cabin on the other side. We can show you around that in a second. Okay. You have the kitchen off the side. It's a little bit taller, of course. You can still do a rooftop tent on it. This is only the rooftop tent model. Okay. All right, so it's compact, much lower profile. You still have a nice outdoor kitchen. Both units come with uh, up to 52 gallons of water. Wow. So high water capacity. Um, they have a trailing arm independent suspension that's proprietary by AOR. Um, they use a very uh, they use a, a high tensile super galvanized steel chassis. So it's a really heavy duty chassis, um, and it's just really set up to take a beating. It looks like it is. Yeah. Do kind of a walk around. Are these are those speakers? No, those are access panels. Um, you can slide fishing rods in there and some of your poles for your awnings and that sort of thing. They're access uh, channels all the way through. Cool. Okay, so, I saw I saw their speakers and honestly, like right away, yeah. I was just like, it's they kind look of a like weird speakers. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what's most impressive of these units is all the storage. Um, all of the AOR units you have a lot of storage. A big compartment right here. Wow. Pass through, you know. Okay. Um, and then. Same thing down here if it's open, it's, an, it's locked right now, but that has a spare tire down there as well and it's additional storage. Okay. Um, the platform can fit a large tent like this. We can do the lift up tents like the James Rood or the Boondetex. We can do two side-by-side -side tents. So for a family that has kids and you wanna have separate tents, you can put those up there so you can have two tents up there. So it gives you a lot of capacity up on top of the roof with the six crossbars. And then you have this deck right here too yeah. that you can store additional gear in. Yeah. Um, they actually make a tailgate for this one now. So if you put chairs and rugs and carpets and firewood down there, you can stuff all that back in there and you can block it off the back. Okay, yeah, first, right away I noticed that you could put like our paddle board that we've had in some of our videos, you could stuff that in here and Slide then you'll get rid of a little bit of that wind resistance. Yeah, yeah, tuck it underneath. Yeah, very cool. So, okay. on this side we have more storage. This is typically where people put their clothes on this unit. Okay. Um, and so if you have a rooftop tent coming out this side, a lot of people do the fold over tents. You have your annex room, you're, you know, down below here. So your change room, then you have your cupboard and your cool. storage right here for your clothes. Um, you have your electrical system. We have these outfitted right now with 250 amp hour lithium batteries. So Sweet. 300 amp hours of lithium. These also run the Red Arc Red Vision system. Good so choice. you have your 30 amp shore charger, DC to DC and solar charger all in one. Okay. Um, and they have a water filtration system. You get more storage up front. Water filtration system. Yep. Okay, awesome. And these are 100% dust proof. All of the AOR line of campers are 100% dust proof. And so, especially out here, you know, we're out in the, especially in the Southwest yeah. where we're from, um, super important. Yes, it so. is. Get up front, we have a nice storage box in the front boot box. So lots of storage up here again, uh, great for your chairs, larger gear. Uh, we're running dual 11 pound tanks and um, we have the Cruise Master DO35 hitch okay. on the front. And then this is a... Oh, that's that? your that's your uh, hot water access okay. for your shower. Cool. So we use the Smart Tech Instant Hot Water System. Okay. And uh, it has a tripod that stands right there, sets up, and then you have hot water going back to the sink. So you have your output and your input awesome. right there. That's nice. Okay. We can show you that on the Sierra too. So continue around the continue around. This is the exciting side over yeah, here. Yeah, you got the kitchen. So the large fridge slide Ooh, with another yeah. prep tray. They'll also use this as a barbecue tray. So you can put your little barbecue there, a little, a little burner if you want to, slides away. And then uh, of course, whole fridge will slide back in. Uh, we're running the ARB stainless steel fridge on this one. It fits well, has your side access, which works well here. But if you have another fridge of your choice, you can do that as well. Okay. Yeah, that looks like it would fit most it fridges. Fits, it's it pretty fits tall. nice, yeah. And then, this uses the uh, portable uh, cooktop. We're using the Camp Chef here. We like this. It's a high pressure uh, 20,000 B2 burner. Okay. So we like that a lot. Running that straight from the propane line. Uh, your little sink, we'll put a bucket under there to catch the gray water. And then you have your cutlery drawer right above it. Awesome. Oh Pull yeah, I like this sink setup. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and really compact. Pushes up. Everything has a place, stows away. And that'll collapse and slide back in. 
and then all your kitchen storage pantry, your red art controller, your inverter controllers right here. So we had one of the 2016 Conquerors. This has more pantry storage than that so. thing did. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty sweet. Yeah, there's quite a bit for this little size trailer. Um, this, this comes in right around 2,000 pounds dry and about 3,900 uh, gross. Oh, wow. So, it can yeah, haul some weight. It, it really can. It's actually using the same chassis and suspension as some of their hybrids or okay. larger units. Um, so it has a high capacity for payload. Okay. And that 2,000 does not include the 10, I does imagine? Does not include the 10, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so people know. Yep. And then it looks yep. like these both sides had this built-in lighting. Yep. Yep. Okay. You have your lighting out here for your prep air and kitchen. 300 amp hours of battery is a ton. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which is really in it. Um, the rooftop is pre-wired for solar as well. Uh, so if you want to run solar panels either on the tent or as a separate setup, you can do that. Um, and then we have also solar panel setup on the front uh, okay. tongue as well. Awesome. All right. She's a beaut. Yeah. You take a look at the Sierra. So this is the big brother. This is the AOR Sierra. I'll let you in there. Yep. There's some more layout for the kitchen. Again, lots of storage up here. Opens up. We actually put this uh, large camp stuff stove in there, um, as well as a secondary stove for demo purposes. Um, we have the Evacool. This is one of the Australian brands that they use. But again, we can put Truma or Dometic or ARB, you know, Snowmaster, that type of thing on here. Again, a second prep tray. You can put a small stove right here. Um, we have units coming in already with a two burner Thetford stove built onto this tray. So that's an option for people. And then tons of storage again for your kitchen. Built in lighting up top. Built in lighting Orange right here. Orange mode. Yep. Perfect. Yep. That's nice. Helps out for bugs. Um, hot and cold uh, water to the sink. Again, we use the instant hot water system, Smart Tech, on the other side that's plumbed back to the sink so you have access there. Uh, this Red Arc Red Vision system. So you have access to your battery power, your water tanks, um, your charging controls, and everything right here, as well as your lights. It's all app driven, so when you're inside, you can turn off and on your lights from here, turn off and on your water pump. That sort of thing is really nice. And then the inverter, what size inverter do these trailers have? 2,000 watt inverter is an okay. option. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you have your 110 receptacle right there running off the inverter. This is a nice little kitchen. Yeah. Does that pop out? Push in. Push in. And then pops out, push oh, in the bottom. Okay. And then it opens up. There you go. That is pretty cool. I've never seen those latches before. That was nice. Those are pretty yeah. sweet. They're solid. I think one of the things that people like a lot about this trailer is this option for this changing room. It's a this drop down cool. changing room. And so it gives you that ability to have some privacy um, transition room as you go into the bedroom area. Um, so this all folds up into this top um, latch or a hatch right here, and then it all folds down. So if you don't want to put the change room down, you don't have to. It just sits up here on the top, and you can still enter into the into the bedroom. That's cool. This looks like a really cool feature. So with this closed up, you can either do the the screens or the full enclosure. It gives you the privacy. If you want to put a small portable toilet in here, you can. We've had people use it for dogs and pets, um, but just a, tr a place to drop off your your uh, your shoes. Um, we've had people put um, small shelves in here, kind of collapsible shelves, to put their put their clothes out here and everything. And then you can step inside and you can crawl into the bedroom. Um, the door. And there's three of us in here. And it feels fine. Yeah, it's, it's it plenty of room. Yeah, yeah. And then you can also use this. Um, and so when you, when the doors close, you can still keep that open That's and you, nice. you have a bare screen right here. So you still get kind of the airflow coming through, but this is still secure. Okay. It's called a bare screen? Yeah. So that, it's a metal, metal screen right oh, there. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cause in like Yellowstone, you need to have a hard sided camp. You have to have hard sided. Yeah. And so something like this, you once could, you're, once you you're closed this. up, yep. obviously don't store your peanut butter outside, but yeah. That's Open pretty cool. Bare screen's a new one. Yep, small ladder in there, we can get in there. This is a full size bed, really comfortable five inch mattress. Um, it feels really roomy in here when you're sitting inside, 
whether you're sleeping or doing work, you have feel like you have a lot of room with yeah. this large window that opens up here and that rear door. Uh, you have two fans up there, your 12 volt outlets, your USB outlets, two reading lamps, and then you have access to your closet storage in the front, right through here, which is also accessible from the outside. You're showing her the cozy place and the closet. She's getting bright <laughs> ideas over there. Yeah, this is really nice. And then this. Oh, okay, this, cool. Yeah, this is great. So this is we have it open right now. And if you're at your campsite, you're overlooking a lake or a river, open it up. You know, it's great. Uh, but if you want to close that down, you can do that as well. And then this is just your standard window. You know, so it opens up and you have both your shade and your screen. That's cool. So, you know, that would be your screen setup. Do that from the inside. Close that down. And then you can lift it all the way up. Very well thought out design there. Yeah. And then all the electrical and plumbing is underneath the bed right here. Awesome. As well Real as easy spare. to access. You have your spare. Some people will put the spare tire up on the roof. You give additional storage right here. You have an access panel from uh, behind the camper. So you can get to it from right there. And then you have your, again, your two 150 amp hour lithium batteries. Uh, so 300 amp hour total. The Red Arc Red Vision 2000 watt inverter and your water filtration system. This is a really cool layout. As far as like space efficiency. Yeah, it's really well done. All for again, right around, you know, 2,200 pounds. Yeah. So. And I really like seeing that they went with Red Arc just because in my opinion, like, I mean, I'm I'm in the Red Arc booth right now, but <laughs> that's because I bought their I like their stuff like before. Their stuff. Yeah. And yeah. uh and yeah. like my with my Conquer, I converted it over to a Red Vision Red Arc, system yeah. just because in my opinion it's the best option it, available. It, it works so well, it's easy to use, mm -hmm. it's easy to configure, it's all app driven. So while you're driving, you can be checking your charge, you can watch your you know, what's going on with your refrigerator and stuff right. like that. So it makes it real easy. Yeah. Shore power connections right here, 30 amp. And then again, two more large storage compartments. This is the one that is accessible by the inside. So typically people put their clothes in there. Cool. And then this is what we use for the toolbox typically, you know, some of our gear and equipment. You see how deep it is back there. Yeah. And even if you had a large family, you could theoretically, yeah. that's big enough to where you could put another fridge in here too. Yeah. That's a you lot of space. Could. Yep. Mm -hmm. That is a ton of space. This is a fiberglass body. It's an aluminum front box and aluminum trim around it. Uh, so it's, that's what's helping it keep really lightweight. Right. Um, and like I said, on the other one, it's a, uh, the, the chassis, it's called a uh, high tensile, super galvanized steel chassis. It's galvanized from the inside out. Okay. And so instead of just being dipped, you know, and galvanized, um, they actually have a different process to galvanize it from the inside out. Wow. So yeah, kind of unique. Um, they will also, what's, what's nice about these units, uh, AOR will match your, uh, your bolt pattern for your vehicle. So if you want to match to a Jeep, you know, or if you have a Land Rover or something, they'll match it so that when you get it, you can have the same type of tires and wheels on it. Same you. tire, carry yeah. an extra spare whenever you're getting yeah. rowdy. And then this is our uh, outdoor shower. This is on a swing away bracket up on the top right there. So that's gonna go back in when we're traveling. And then on the inside here, you got the loo. We've got the thunder box and the hot, and the, and the hot shower. Glad I had us put the lapel mics on. <laughs> Got that wind going. And that this is the hot water shower then. Okay, digital so, display and everything. Yep. Cool. Got it set up here. It's on a tripod, easy to set up. Two quick connects, one in, one out. Um, and then we have access to the propane right here. And then yet more storage. And more storage on the front. That is crazy. We have our solar panel sitting right up here right now, but this is, if we come around the side, it's actually a firewood box. So um, this is usually this is used to store firewood. So okay. when you're driving down a trail, they do this a lot in Australia. You're you know picking up firewood along the way before you get to your site, yeah. and so you can throw it up there, strap it down, put your extra gear up there, and keep driving. And that way, it just sits up there. That's cool. Out of the way. So that's the firewood box, but that doesn't look very deep. So how does it just sits right there? Oh, okay. And then it folds up when you don't use it. So so the weight just keeps it down, yeah. and you're good to go. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. We just have our solar panel sitting on it right now today. That's neat. Yeah. 
Yeah, this thing has got, both of these have a ton of storage. <laughs> it's a lot. I like that. I like yeah. that it's got like the primary thing you're worried about is sleeping. And you're yeah. sleeping in with hard walls on this one. And of yeah. course, that one's a yeah, tent, tent setup. Tent option. Yeah. But if you do want something enclosed, it's got the outdoor kitchen, hard yeah. walls, and then, I mean, more. Yeah. you, you get a whole family of, especially yeah. with the rooftop tent. You option. do a rooftop tent on this, you can easily get a family of five or six or seven. Easy. In this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is Easy. awesome. So. And what's the weight on this bad boy? So this is right around 2,200 pounds dry. Wow, yeah. that's not that yeah. much. It's not that much, not at all. Yeah. Uh, really well built um, and they're just you know in Australia they they're just experts at going lightweight yeah. because their vehicles are smaller they're lighter than what we have here in the US so they really refine the engineering to make sure they stay lightweight right wow 2200 yeah. pounds that's incredible 2200 pounds does that include the awning no that's without the accessories okay so for sure yep but still, that's pretty yeah. lightweight. Man. And what they do, actually, when it leaves the factory, they will weigh the trailer, every single trailer. And so your dry weight and your gross weight is the actual weight of your trailer with your accessories. Cool. It's pretty unique. Most US manufacturers don't do that. Okay. Yeah, they just give you a standard. These guys, when it leaves the factory, they weigh it. And your VIN plate that you get that's on it is the actual weight of the trailer as it came out. Okay. Man. Yeah, yep. these, these are a cool design. Yeah, Especially, I like... I don't know which one I like better, <laughs> honestly. This one, being able to take something like this into Yellowstone, because yeah. that was one thing that we had an issue with with the rooftop tent, yeah. was Yellowstone. Yeah, and then, you're um, more limited with it. Yeah. yeah, you close that down. I mean, we call this a secure bunker. Yeah, it, for it sure. Truly, it truly is, you Pretty know. cool. Uh, when it's 100% dust proof, it's airtight too, you know, and so it's really well insulated. It doesn't get very cold at night. I've been out in this 35 degree temperature and do just fine. Huh. Yeah. All right, so uh, MSRP on this bad boy? Yeah, these will be in the mid to high 40s. This okay. will be in the mid to high 50s. Cool. Um, we have some shipping on there and everything. We have some custom custom options, but you know, certainly go through and configure it. You know, the idea is to configure it for the customer. Definitely. So, yeah. Yeah. No, that's an impressive build. Yeah. For sure. Well, right on. Was there All anything right. else you'd like to show us while we're here? Well, if we have a few minutes, let's take a look at Expedition. Okay. That be okay? Let's look at Expedition okay. trailers. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to check out my other adventure, off-road, and overland-related content.